When service members take an oath to defend the Constitution of the United States, they do so knowing that they may be called upon to make great sacrifices to ensure and sustain our shared values. These patriots accept those risks and rush to fulfill the mission, no matter how harsh or dangerous the conditions. They embody the best of the American spirit. Each year, members of the Combat Veterans Motorcycle Association, Europe 52, embark on a journey to honor the service members who were prisoners of war or missing in action. These heroes are not forgotten.
Stalag Luft III was situated in Sagan, 100 miles southeast of Berlin, now called Zagan, in Upper Silesia, Poland. This prisoner of war camp was made famous by the 1963 film, The Great Escape. However, the events that took place here during World War II were not simply fictional. Of the 76 men that escaped during the events of March 25, 1944, now known as the Great Escape, 73 were recaptured, 50 of whom were brutally murdered by the Gestapo shortly after recapture. The Combat Veterans Motorcycle Association, Europe 52, is here today, September 15, 2023, National POW MIA Recognition Day, to pay respect to the Allied service members who sacrificed their life and freedom in the name of democracy. So coming on this ride today, I don't even think words could explain what it means to me or many of the others that are here. It's 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 overwhelming to know that, yeah, we all served combat and we did our part, but what the folks before us did and went through is is insane. So to be able to come back to, to my family roots and uh, and see what's left of what our brothers went through, it's it's I can't put words to it. It's just it's overwhelming. It's 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 an actual honor to be here. So the, the uh, EUR 52 sanctioned event, the POW MIA ride, uh, is, is very important to me. Uh, first off, it's the, C, it's the state representative's ride. He does a great job of putting it together and researching and finding the, uh, uh, the locations that will be most impactful. Uh, and then when we, we go out there, um, you know, as a combat veteran, the, those that were POWs had a, a very unique experience and being able to come out, learn about that experience in a particular place in Europe where they, uh, where they lived, where they struggled, uh, to me that's a appropriate way of honoring them uh, because for the most part they're no longer with us. There's only a handful still alive across the world. Uh, so we are honoring their memory uh, by coming and learning and visiting where they struggled. POW MIA Day, the third Friday of Saturday. Um, I'm, I'm really overwhelmed right now in my emotions. Again, this is more than I thought it could have been. Does anybody here, we all, you know, are combat veterans. We fought combat. Does anybody here have a family member that was a POW? So our, our uh, the state rep does, and I don't think any of us, like we've been through a lot in our combat service, but I don't think that we will ever know what our brothers went through that were POWs uh, across the country. 
And I think for us to be able to be here today, uh, come together from all the different branches, all different ages, different nationalities, and know that we fought in combat together and to be able to respect and show, show remembrance that we will never forget those that came before us and that were uh, prisoners of war is, again, I'm, I'm extremely overwhelmed and I'm sure all of you are as well. And uh, we want to never forget them. Combat veterans want to show some respect by laying a wreath. And prior to doing that, I would like to give a moment of silence to um, all of those that have lost for uh, the POWs. Move your hats. Thank you. Well, here's a song of celebration About good times and friends And no frustration Take it real easy Take it real slow Kick back, have a seat Riding a motorcycle means to me um, therapy. Wind therapy, throttle therapy, getting out with other people on the road, getting away from from the daily pressures of work and family life and um, and just trying to find your center and get back to zero. Um, I didn't know that riding was gonna mean that much to me originally until I started getting into it and I didn't know um, that I was going to find a bond uh, with everyone here uh, like I have. Gonna take our time. No time to worry about tomorrow. Where everything will be just fine. The CVMA to me means the family that I chose. We're all born into a family, and we're all forced into a family uh, while we're growing up, and the family you're assigned in the military. The CVMA is the family that I chose, the brotherhood, the sisterhood. All of us together, it doesn't matter what we're doing. If we're out partying or if I'm on the phone at three in the morning talking to a brother that needs help. It's the family that I want, the family that I love. Talking about good times and friends. Yeah, good times and friends. We lost friends. Sincerely, from the heart, thank you all for coming out and supporting this event. Um, so when Buddy was uh, doing an amazing job of uh, giving the speech when we were presenting the wreath and everything like that, when she asked, does anybody here have somebody that was a POW, um, I, I did raise my hand. This, that's what this ride means to me. Um, so on my dad's side, his stepfather he was a pow we asked him about it and everything like that he's like i did it so you wouldn't have it i did it i was through that stuff so you would never have to ask or know what it was about uh, i don't know which camp he was at or anything like that i'm going to honor his wishes and not look into it that's why every year we go to a different camp that way one day before i die i will actually represent him by representing everybody and that's what this ride means to me. here's a song of celebration about good times and friends, no frustration.